What up? <laughs> All right, guys. I bet you weren't expecting that. Just a big old in the screen. Well, happy Friday, guys. It's another Friday. Let's pump up for the weekend. Right, nothing, uh, nothing overly exciting really has happened to me over the past week. So while I'm pumped about Friday, um, I really don't have that much to chat to you guys about. I didn't get out fishing last week. I had a lot of stuff to, uh, to do around the house. Uh, we had like a house inspection, so fishing, being away, and then going down to after, there was a lot of things on my to-do list. So I thought I'd just take a weekend off fishing, which um, sucked. I even nearly contemplated going for a little flick for some brimbos in the Brizzy River, but um, look, I decided I'd be a good boy and uh, just do what I need to do. And uh, I thought Dallas just threw up then, but he didn't, so all clear. So, Friday, what are we doing on Fridays? Beer and vape, right? Wrong, wrong now, because uh, I'm super unorganized <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't actually go and get beers, I forgot that. So, my bad guys, so we're gonna stick with the bourbon, bourbon and coke. Literally nothing fancy, but Hmm. It does the job and is lovely. Goes down a treat on Friday. Isn't that right, Dallas? Dallas likes bourbon, hey? Because uh, one time, and it was the most awkward thing ever. So <laughs> it was back at the old house at Chamside. I went to have a shower, right? So here I am, day's work, come home, it's a Friday. I'm excited, pumped up for the weekend. Uh, I had a 10 pack of, um, what was it? I don't know, it was bourbon. I can't remember what bourbon. Anyway, oh, Woody, they were Woodstock. <laughs> budget, budget bourbon. So I had a 10 pack of Woody's and I, I took my clothes off ready to have a shower and then I forgot that I had the 10 pack and I meant to put some in the freezer and the rest in the fridge. So by the time I got out from the shower, you know, that whole deal, it would have been nice and cold. So here am I, full naked. I walked out down the hallway, saw the 10 pack, went beauty. And I only had literally like a couple left. Now the following events that took place, I've no idea how the severity of it got quite to where it was, right? So, naked, kitchen, dog, I, I don't know, one dropped, it fell, I think I smacked it on the microwave as I went to put it in the freezer, it dropped, hit the tiles, then pfft, just a fountain of bourbon and coke everywhere. I'm naked, I'm completely covered in bourbon, D Dallas, Thought it was the best thing ever because he started licking it up. So here I am in half a mind of whether one, to move because otherwise I'm gonna put sticky footsteps everywhere. Two, stop the bottle from like fizzing and spinning. Or three, pick my dog up so he doesn't get drunk from drinking the bourbon that I just spilt all over the joint. It was a really, really weird deal and I had no idea what was going on, but <laughs> I chose to pick him up, <laughs> run downstairs naked into my brother's room. I'm pretty sure Tristan was there and he had no idea. And I said, man, <laughs> hold Dallas, like shit is getting real. And I came upstairs and then I, I went and had a quick shower, washed off and then I came and uh, had to clean it all up. So that was a bit of an interesting deal on a Friday, just to be completely naked, covered in bourbon with your dog, licking it off the ground. So all in all, Dallas likes bourbon. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we are going to pair the bourbon up with a vape, as always. Now, this vape sucks. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so disappointed and I've run out of good flavors, so life is super av at the moment. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I was uh, slack on my sample box ordering 
last time because I was away and then it got sent. So for those of you that don't know what sample box is, so this is what I'm always talking about. To the people that ask me where I get my flavors and stuff, and I know I've said it before on my channel. So this deal right here, uh, that sample box guys, so it's basically like a juice of the month club from the States, which is great. I think the American flavors of e-juice are a hell of a lot better than a lot of the Australian stuff. Um, but I vape with nicotine, so I vape with three milligram of nicotine, and it's great because you can buy it with nicotine in America. It's illegal to sell the nicotine at all in juices here in Australia. New Zealand, you can buy the nicotine on its own, but um, in America, you can buy the nicotine and the flavors. So, you know, it comes every month. It roughly works out to about 50 bucks Australian every month. It comes with a little taste card that's got all of the uh, the flavors and stuff on there. So it's gonna focus for you guys. So, that's a little info on everyone, blah, blah, blah. And this is what comes in the pack. So, it's a little bit messy. I've taken a bunch out. Like, these were actually some of the flavors that, ooh. These are actually some of the flavors that came last time. Um, and they're all ridiculously bad. So the way it works is you sign up, you can put in your likes and dislikes of flavors. Um, there's literally thousands to choose from and sample box will pick and choose according to your likes and dislikes of what it sends you. But for being a long time member, the longer you're the member, the longer you can, the, or the more you can unlock. So you can actually pick your own flavors. So I've got six juices, like six 30 ml juices that come each month and I can pick and choose what flavors I want. However, if you forget, like I did, they randomly pick for you and um, all of these are pretty boring. They suck. So um, yeah, I'm kind of stuck, I'm out of juices. But enough of that because, check it out, we're here to talk fishing. But like I said, I didn't go fishing last week, so I really don't have a whole lot to talk about. So if you guys have something to talk about and you want to send me some photos or comment down below, tell me about your fishing stories. <coughs> tell me if you've ever been uh, caught in a sticky situation with um, <coughs> a can of bourbon fizzing around the floor with your dog trying to lick it. But look, I do have some interesting news, guys. Uh, I fish um, ABT, as you guys know. The Australian Bass Tournaments. So next year, I'm actually transitioning across into Bass Nation Australia, or Bass Australia Nation. However you want to call it, that's what's up. So I'm, uh, I, I will still be fishing ABT, so all of you guys in ABT don't freak out. Um, I'm still gonna be fishing ABT. Uh, I'm just gonna be putting all of my focus on Bass Australia Nation because uh, I think for me, that's catered a lot more in terms of where I'm trying to progress to, um, being the States. Uh, yeah, so that's the reason. I'll still be fishing both. It's, if I could, I would 100% fish both seasons. You know, both straight up off the bat, but I need to work and I can't take all that time off for both. So I will still be fishing ABT and selected events, but I'll be fishing all of the Bass Australian Nation events. Uh, I'll also be fishing the uh, the Bass Australian Nation Teams event too, which is super exciting. So me and Al Britcliffe are uh, teaming up for um, Team Akuma Australia, and uh, we'll be fishing that. So it's super exciting, guys. I've got jerseys to design for next year. I would really like to get my boat wrapped as well. So uh, it's all going to start happening and, and get the ball rolling as we sort of near the end of the year and we near the end of the fishing season for me. All right, guys, so that is about it from me. Remember, if you haven't liked and subscribed to this page already, please do so. I'm trying to build my subscribers up, so don't be shy. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell down there somewhere that will let you know when these uploads come up. Also, make sure you head over to my Facebook and Instagram accounts and uh, shoot me a like and a follow over there, which would be greatly appreciated. That way you can keep up to date with exactly what uh, I'm doing in my life. If your lives are not interesting enough or hey, for whatever reason, whatever. But head over there. Keegan Painter Fishing, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, subscribe, ring the bell. And um, me and Dallas are signing out. This horrible, horrible coffee vape. But, um, oh well, it's Friday guys.
pump up. Have a good weekend, guys. Get out in the water and make sure you catch some biggins. I'm out.